So we just wanted to get on here today and honor the Neelands. If you get nothing out of this at all, um, live today as if it could be your last day because it very well could be. So hey guys, Jules here and Johnny. Johnny and I guess this is kind of like a coffee talk, but we um, wanted to get on here and talk about what happened this past Friday. Um, we haven't had time to get on and talk about it because we have been busy this weekend. We sang yesterday, but um, we wanted to get on here and talk about the tragic accident and plane crash that happened with our fellow musicians and vocalists, um, the Neelan family. So I woke up Saturday morning, this past Saturday morning, and was devastated as I read the news reports about the Neelan family. Um, three of the four members um, passed away in a fatal, tragic plane crash. Um, I really honestly thought that I was reading it wrong. So I read it a couple of times and tried to figure it out. And um, then even thought, well, this can't be true. Somebody's on here lying. I just, you know, all kind of things ran through my mind. But anyway, I woke Johnny up and we have not stopped thinking about it since Saturday. And today is actually Monday. And um, it has just been weighing heavy on us. Um, we we had some dealings with the Neelands. Um, we actually, back in 2017, we went and we did the contest, the talent search with Daywind Records, hosted by the Neelands, and, um, and we won. And so we were able to get acquainted with Jason Clark. <clears throat> and um, anyway, so I guess that's why this seems to hit so close to home and you know, also they do, they, they did what we do. Um, and they did it for many, many years, uh, much more than we have. Um, and so I think that's another reason why it probably is hitting pretty personal with us. Right. Um, we wound up getting to know Jason Clark pretty, uh, personally there for about three days while we were working on that, uh, recording up in Tennessee up there. And, um, I guess you can show a picture of the Yeah, I'll show some CD footage and, 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 and clips um, right here. We entered in a contest, um, a competition, a singing talent competition, and we're actually going home winners, y'all. Um, we were selected um, as the grand prize um, winners of the Sing Atlanta Day Win, sound, uh, Day Win Record Talent Search. And so, um, Put on by the Neelands. Put on by the Neelands. Toward the back, I kept on turning till Mama couldn't help me anymore. And I turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. No one could steer me right, but Mama tried. Mama tried. This is uh, the mama and the two sons and the daddy right here, and uh, we're going to ask them to sing. You guys get your microphones. Bass man, you just grab, grab that mic right here on, the, on the, the wired mic over there and get him ready. And uh, you guys grab these three microphones. Let's make sure they're all turned on. And Nathan, will you help them out right there? And uh, we're going to get their track ready, and I want you guys to hear these people. They were tremendous, and I'm very excited for you to hear. This is the song they performed this morning, and so uh, make this fam family welcome. Parsons Redeemed, all right? Here we go. Tell you the best thing ever you do I laid off the old coat and put on the new I 
This is Charlie with STN Scoops. I'm here with my friend Phil Wilkes with uh, Sing Atlanta. And Phil, I uh, just wanted to introduce everybody to the uh, 2017 winner of the Day Win Talent Search, Parsons Redeemed. Hey guys. Uh, hey. hey. Uh, Sister Julie, tell us, tell us just a little bit about your family. Um, well, we are um, a quartet. I'm mom, and this is hubby. And these are my, our two sons, yeah. and, um, and our bass singers are right here. Yeah. So, um, and we uh, we're full time RV living gospel singers, and um, and that's what we do. We just minister in song. That's awesome. Uh, tell me a little bit about the prize package that uh, that yeah, you got. To it's pretty awesome. We are so excited. Um, yeah. It's it's a, a recording package with Daywind. Mm -hmm. With right. Daywind, y'all. Yeah. yeah, the Day top Wind. label in our mm -hmm. in our business. Mm -hmm. And uh, who's going to produce it? Jason Clark. Oh, the man. The man. The myth. The legend. The man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Love Jason. And uh, I'm just so proud of you guys. And I just want to take just a minute and introduce you to Parsons Redeemed and uh, let you know that they just won Sing Atlanta, the second annual Sing Atlanta Day Win Talent Search. And uh, they just got to sing here on the main stage here at Sing Atlanta just Praise a few minutes ago. You're going to be hearing a lot out of these people. They're great. Bye. <laughs> top of the line of the Southern Gospel um, studios, recording studios, and we won that contest, and now, praise God, we're getting to cut our album. You need to be exactly the same as your original. Here we go. You won't, you can call him up and tell him what you Guys, we are um, here still in the outskirts of Nashville, Hendersonville, Tennessee, and we're at Daywind Studios. We're actually Daywind Studios. I said that kind of fast. Yesterday went really good. Um, we were able to lay down three songs, and um, we've got seven more to go, and we have today and tomorrow to do it. <laughs> Gracie's water Stone. bottles. Oh, and I was gonna. And Jason's artwork. Oh, artwork! Yay! Yeah, the guy that produced our. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he doodles. Jason, uh, uh, he had my respect. Um, he was excellent at everything he done, mm -hmm. and he could hear harmony. He heard it all, and he, if uh, you needed something in your music, he he could hear it when mm -hmm. you couldn't. And, uh, just uh, my hat is off. I don't like taking that off, but huh. my hat is off to uh, Jason Clark. Uh, uh, was excellent, and yeah. we just love him and uh, loved uh, Kelly and and Nathan and, and uh, Amber. Amber and 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 just uh, really hate this happening to them. Yeah. Really, really just hate this. Yeah. When we were in the studio. Um, Jason really challenged us. Like we went in there thinking we had it all practiced and it was good and great, but he pulled out the best in us. Yeah. Um, he pulled out excellence. And, and actually, if you come to any of our concerts, a lot of what you see came from his suggestions. Yeah, and it's, you know, uh, 
that's what a good producer does mm -hmm. in music. We didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. We didn't realize that, but we learned it yeah. by Jason and, and a couple of other producers that we've had uh, since him mm -hmm. in, in producing our music and helping us record it. You know, a, yeah. a lot of times two heads are better than one, but um, a, a, an excellent head is better than 12 sometimes. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, if you're striving for excellence, Jason Clark was a man and he's going to be missed. And so Amber and Nathan Kissler um, were the, the, she was the daughter of Kelly um, and Jason Clark and Nathan was her husband and they were actually there at the contest and they were the ones who were the judges for this contest. And so we were very honored and privileged to be able to, um, to be, to win the grand prize there and be able to have that experience um, that made us better to be able to go in the studio and record. And, um, and actually that CD, um, is called breaking through. And so if you're just curious about it, you can see our website and it's there. My mother and dad, uh, did music back in the late seventies, early eighties, and they really loved Southern gospel music. And I was sort of grew up listening to Southern gospel, um, and then I had a couple of cousins who really liked country. And then I had my sister like rock and roll. So I had all that going in uh, as a kid. And, you know, some of it's come out. But uh, the biggest thing is the Southern Gospel with uh, Kelly Nealon. And uh, her dad was Rex Nealon. And back in the 80s, they, my, my, my mother and dad really loved them. And... Uh, was fans of them and you know they would do some of their songs when they were out mm -hmm. uh, my, my mother and dad wasn't very big in their music uh, but they they sang with a quartet with my brother-in-law and sister and then late 70s and then early 80s they split off from them and had a do a country gospel do uh trio with my aunt lois mm -hmm. so um I was raised in all of that, seeing all that, but my mother really loved uh, Kelly Nealon. Um, Kelly was uh, one of her best, mm -hmm. one of her favorites. And yeah. um, and she's most well known for the song, Go For A Thousand Tongues, right. and, which uh, I've had on my mind this and morning. And actually, uh, Rod Rodney Swain, Swain mm -hmm. was uh, actually really a mentor to me. He didn't even know it as a kid, but I watched him as, as a kid wanting to sound like him and sing like him. And he had, to me, the perfect baritone voice, baritone and lead voice. And uh, so I sort of patterned after him and my dad in a way, but uh, Rodney Swain is, is uh, really excellent too. So we just wanted to get on here today and honor the Neelands and just make tribute to them um, for their accomplishments and their um, contribution to southern gospel and to the gospel music world and to our lives and so we just want to honor them you know because even though they're not on this earth um jason kelly and amber are not on this earth anymore they are in the right. presence of the lord and um forevermore and we will one day see them again and yes. if you see this autumn we just love you yes. we love all you guys mm -hmm. and uh you know uh we are praying we just love you all for you and your husband and your soon to be born baby um, who will carry on this legacy this great legacy that um that your mama and daddy and and sister um, left for you and so i know that seems like big shoes to fill but i believe that um, you definitely have it in you and so right. anyway you we do yes and we just want to honor and we want to pay tribute and um, we just want to just express our <clears throat> thankfulness for um, for the opportunities that we had to get to know Jason Clark and and to um, to be able to experience the music of the Neelands uh, gospel family singing group. And so anyway, um, this is heavy on our hearts and we just want to um, just ask you guys, our audience, whoever sees this video to just pray for this precious family and all of their close friends and also for their assistant. Um, and I think it was Melody Hodges and um, 
the pilot and his wife as well as the Kistler family. And so if you guys will just help us and join us in prayer for them. Um, all of this that's happened has actually caused me to want to press in and keep going, keep moving forward, keep pressing in, even when it's hard because gospel music or any music industry at all is not easy. It's, it's tough some days and, Definitely and, um, tough. and, but this has inspired me to, to just keep moving forward and, um, and to aspire to do all that God has called me to do because I feel like they finished their race um, good, well, and I believe that um, that they will hear the Lord say, well done, that good and faithful servant. And so, anyway, do you have any more, anything else, any final words? Well, just our condolences to all the families uh, from us, Johnny and Jules and Parson Road yes. Music and... Um, um, actually, uh, Todd Nealon, we love you. And yes. if you see this, we, we love you and our condolences to you and the whole family. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything that we could ever do, yes. let us know. Absolutely. And um, also, you guys, we um, are going to link down below. Um, there is a fundraiser going on for Autumn and her family because there is a lot of things that she's gonna have to be facing in the next few days. And right. so we're gonna actually link that down below. So actually, if you feel uh, led to give, mm -hmm. um, you can do that through that link. Uh, they had uh, people working for them and their band members uh, that is not gonna have a job now because uh, Jason and Kelly are passed away now. So yeah. uh, it's, it's- That's hard to even hear. It's a, uh, it's, uh, yeah. It's uh, mm -hmm. surprising to us. It's, you know, some things you just don't understand. This is one of them. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, uh, I talked to another friend. He said, close friend of Jason Clark, he said he couldn't wrap his head around it. And it is uh, a tough one. Um, some things we don't understand. But, you know what? God is good. Yes. God is always good. good through everything. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, planes are man-made. Cars are man-made. And uh, um, people you know, sometimes blame God for things, but um, how can God be blamed when something mechanical fails because man made the mm -hmm. mechanical things? Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, we just, uh, our condolences, we love um, all you guys. And we love all you guys, our yes. YouTube people, and uh, we just want to say God bless you all. So we just want to wrap this up and we want to encourage you guys, um, if you get nothing out of this at all, um, live today as if it could be your last day because it very well could be. None of us are promised tomorrow and today is the day to love the people that God has given you to love and today is the day of salvation. And so we just want to encourage you guys to live like today is your last and live for eternity. Right. We're gonna leave you with um, mm -hmm. just a, a few clips, additional clips of the Neelands, and um, if you're still breathing. There is still There's hope. still hope. We'll see you on the next one, Lord willing. Holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, all the earth shall praise thy name. I want you to just keep thinking about that as we sing one of my favorite songs always. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing and oh, for a thousand hands to raise in honor to the King. He is the one deserving of all the honor. Praise your name.
you.